<clears throat> All right, to start this day, um, I would suggest that you get all three packets. I'm so sorry, I just want to get this in such a way that... All right, there we go. There we go. All right, I would suggest that you have all three packets ready in front of you. I have my science in front, then I have my English packet, and then I have my maths packet. We're only going to be working in the science packet for this video, so please make sure that you write your name at the top. And then once you've done that, we can page open. Good. So it starts by saying force meters. Now this is a new topic in science. Last week we did forces. We talked about squash, twist, stretch. Um, <laughs> why can I always only remember those? Bend? I think that's it. Okay. And what a force meter does, it's this picture here by the side. A force meter um, measures the force that it takes. So it measures kind of the strength, if you want to see it that way. With how much strength you are pushing, or with how much strength you are pu pulling. That is what a force meter does. Good. So, they start by telling us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. along in there but I'm ow my knee but I will show you the color picture because I feel like that is going to be more interesting for you to look at but it's exactly the same as the one in your <clears throat> folder so this is what a force meter looks like all right take a good look it has some little numbers there at the top um then there it says newtons I don't know if you can see that hold on I'm just gonna try and get it to focus. Nope, not focusing. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's because I keep moving. I can't not move. All right. Oh my word, I set the brightness up way too high now. Okay. So. Either way, it says Newton there at the top. We'll talk about that. Then it has this ink on the inside if you want to see it that way. And this will rise or fall and tell you how much force this object is exerting. So how much it pulls. Good. So it has this little thingamabob. Oh wait, that's not ink. That's the thingamabob that's going in. This little lever is going in there and it's showing you where it is being pulled down to. It has a hook and then you hang your object at the bottom. Okay, so they say, if you push on a door with foam, fo foam, with foam, you can see the size of the push. You can do this with a balloon as well. If you blow up a balloon and you push against an object, the more that it's being squashed, the larger the force is that you are putting on the object. Obviously, if it pops, that's the largest amount of force. And if it only, uh, if this was the balloon and it only does this, then it didn't take too much force. So, Alexi and Ping both push on a piece of foam. We can see how hard they push. So look, here they are pushing against each other, but you can see that he, whoever this, this one is, I'm guessing this is Alexi, that he is pushing harder because his bubble, he is pushing the foam to squeeze more to Ping's side than Ping is to his side. So here we can see from the foam that Alexi is pushing harder than Ping. Good, now they're going to tell us about the force meter. A force meter is a piece of equipment that measures the size of a force. So you can hang anything here but at the bottom of this little hook and it will tell you what the force of that object is, how much it pulls. Force meters measure the size of pulls. The unit of force is the Newton. It's a capital N. So as you would write, um, 
<sighs> Let's see. As you would say, this is 500 milliliters. Or as you would say, this is 30 centimeters. In that same way, we are measuring force and we are saying this is however many newtons. Okay. Hmm. The unit is named after the famous scientist Isaac Newton. Here he is. Gorgeous hair. <laughs> That's how they looked in the olden days. I shouldn't laugh at him. <laughs> He, beautiful man. Okay. The unit is named after the famous scientist Isaac Newton, who did a lot of work on forces. So he did a lot of work on forces, and that is why they named the force meters unit after him. Good. Now let's quickly take a look here. Um, this is the second page. You guys don't have this one, so just take a look here what I'm showing you right now. Um... So, eyes on the video and not on your paper. Good. It says, okay, measuring forces. <coughs> we can't use a force meter because un un unfortunately we don't have one at school. Um, but we are going to try and make our own force meters. I think it's tomorrow. Um, but we'll still see how that goes and if I just don't do it alone here in class because... I was planning on doing this activity with you guys in class, but unfortunately you're not here. So we'll see how many of us can actually get to do that. Now, tennis players use forces of different sizes to control the ball. So if they hit hard, the ball will go further. If they hit softly, the ball will not go as far. The forces in the ropes will be different for different climbers. So it depends on how hard you're pulling yourself up, um, and that will decide how much force you are putting on the rope. A cycle helmet must be strong enough to protect the cyclist if their head gets hurt by a force. The quicker you are going and if you fall, the harder the impact or the force on the helmet will be. So that's why they are making them super strong. The wind creates a force on the sail which moves the boat through the water. So it's pushing this boat through the water because the force of the wind is um, captured by the sail. Now, questions. Here you can think to yourself if you know the answer so long. What is the unit of measurement of force? Is it A, a newton, B, a force meter, or Kölika, a pool? Listen to the question. What is the unit of measurement? Unit means centimeters, milliliters, all those little things that you write at the back to show how big this thing is. Is it a newton, a force meter, or a pull? Say it out loud at home. Good. If you said it's a newton, you are correct. Number two, why is it important for equipment for sport to be strong? Why is it important for the equipment, like a tennis racket or a rope <clears throat> or a helmet, to be strong? Because you never know how hard the force is going to be that is exerted or that is put on that object and it shouldn't break. Can you imagine if a famous tennis player is still playing tennis and then his racket breaks because he hit it too hard? <laughs> that would be embarrassing, I think. So it has to be strong enough to withstand the force. Now they are saying what you have learned. There is simple equipment which we can use to measure forces. It's our force meter and the unit of measurement of force is the newton. Good. We are moving on. That was an introduction to force meters. Let's take a look at friction. What is friction? If you guys do this with your hands, you'll feel that it's getting hot. Do this and feel if it's getting hot. Do you feel it? That is the friction of your hands rubbing against each other. So, I'm once again going to show you in the book. 